Welcome back, bro. I will lose my life in the next few years. I will not die, hopefully. I, I can never know, but uh, it's not that I've planned to die in the next few years. But I will lose my life. What I mean by this is, you know, 2024 is around the corner, right? And everyone is like gassing themselves up. Well, 2024 is going to be my prime. 2024 is mine. Everyone says that every single year. I've never said that a year is mine. I've been building my foundation. And that's the thing for me too. When I was thinking about it, like, fuck. It was just yesterday when I was 16, 17, 18. Now, I always felt like a, you know, 40, 50 year old man in my body. Always. Since I was a little kid. But I'm thinking about it. 16, 17, 18 years old. That was just yesterday. Then I turned 19, 20. I was like, fuck, I'm 20 and a half. In like eight months, six to eight months, I'll be 21. <laughs> it went so fast. And, and I started thinking about my life. This is what I did. I started really thinking about my life. Something you should do, something everyone should do. Because a, a lot of people become 25, 27, 28, 30, 32, 34. They have never thought about their life in this way. I started really thinking about my life, which I, you know, all, all, always do, already done. But I started really thinking about my life. Well, if I'm 20 and a half now, if I turn 21 in eight months, let's say fast forward eight months, I'm 21. Then I'm going to be like semi-cut, semi-bulked up, if you think about physicality. Semi-cut, semi-bulked up, because I'm not going to shred down when I'm 21. It's not going to happen. I'm going to keep bulking. So I'm going to be some half-cut, half bulked up guy. Well, 22, 23, 24. I always said, I started weightlifting when I was 18. I always said when I'm 23, 24, I'm going to have a good body. That's, you know, I'm not going to, if I stay natural, I'm not going to have a good body until I'm 23, 24, 25. Bulking and cutting. I'll lose a lot of years. And that's all of my young years. Then I'm in my mid-20s. Like, I'm not, then, then, you know, I'm a grown-ass old man at that point. Then I've spent seven years building a body. Well, it's probably worth it. I'm going to do it. But still. It's a lot of time to use to build a body. Well, with money, if we fast forward, I'm 21 in eight months. With money, 22, 23, 24. I always thought like around 25, I will be good financially, but maybe 26, 27, 28 is when that pops off. Like entrepreneurship will pop off. Do you see what I'm trying to say here? It's probably a boring video to sit and watch, but like, bro, how old am I going to be before these things come into, you know, become reality? And I've always known this, but now it becomes so, you know, I've always known this, but it's so easy to think about it at a 17, 18, 19 year old. And sit and think about like, especially 17, 18 year old. Or oh, when I'm 23, I'm this. 24, I'm this. And then 25, 26, 27, 28, I'm this. Then I have the physicality and the financiality. And the physicality and the financiality is going to give me the lifestyle that I want to have. It's easy when you're that young, but then you start becoming older and you're like, I haven't even lived. Then the older question is, what is life? Now, I, I, I'm adamant that I will lose my life in the next few years, right? I'm adamant that I will look back and say I lost the best years of my life. I lost the teenage fun. I, I really lost teenage fun. I, I've talked about this before. Four years inside when I was from around, around, just around 15 to like 17, close to 18. I was, you know, locked up in different places, Right. You know, well, I don't know what you call it, but I think you call it juvenile detention. I think that's what you call it. 
it's not like prison or jail or anything, but it's like juvenile detention. You 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 have your own cell and it's a closed off place, uh, court case, all this stuff. Like I went through all of that, you know. Of course, it's just you know that's nearly the whole teenage years just gone. You know, no family, no females, no friends, just you know, locked up for all those years. It's crazy to think about now. I start to think like that's probably the reason why I became what I become. In a way, not that I'm going to put it all on that, but it sure did something to me. And then spending my late teen years, 18, 19, and then now 20, just job school gym, job school gym, job school gym, job school gym. And just doing all of my, you know, requirements in life. Like, okay, we need to clean up now. We need to pay bills now. We need to do this. You know, and now I'm thinking about, the, these are the things that have happened. But now I'm thinking about the future. Like, well, I'm going to spend the next four years, close to four years, building a body naturally. If I, when I stay natural, building a body naturally, it's going to take me four or five more years. I'll be 24, 25. 26, when that's done, when I can cut down and actually look good, actually look jacked, actually look like good, then I, if I'm 25, 26, I hope I'm lucky that I can keep getting fades, less hair on top, a hairline, like I always have, like, that I have good hair at 25, 26, put on some good clothes and that my body looks good as natural like that, and then you think about money, well, of course, when I think about the money, all that stuff, like, that can be until I'm 26, 27, 28. It means that I'm going to spend the next six, seven years of my life for the package that I want, that, I, that I've always dreamt of, that I always said I'm going to get, that I always worked towards, that I've always sacrificed for, for my whole life. That package is six, seven, eight years ahead. I'm not saying I'm going to cop out or drop out of it or that because then I'm going to, then I'm going to, then I'm going to um, regret my whole life. Then I'm going to regret in my 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s, I'm the 70s, I'm going to regret not going for it. But it's just crazy to think about that. I've had so much in the past that has happened and that I've done, but there's still seven, eight years to go. And that's what I mean. Like, I'm going to lose my life. Do you think there's going to be a lot of friends in those seven, eight years? No. Do you think I'm gonna have time or or gonna gonna go after family? I've said this before. I I cl I no, nearly have no family, right? It's just a couple of family members, and I'm gonna spend my time with them. No, females. Do you think I have time or even I, I'm able to attract a female? I know that there is females you can attract. Like let's say I get you know I keep on hair, face, clothes, working on my body. You know I'm always going to have like. No, I can't do anything with height, but I'm going to have somewhat of looks, somewhat of looking good here and there. And, and, and then I make more and more money. Like, yes, there's going to be more and more females. But all of the females that I've encountered, that I'm going to encounter, are just going to be females for the bottom tier of men. I'm not talking about looks on a female. I'm talking about their personality. Not looks. Like, the majority of females look extremely good. Extremely good. But it's just about their personality. Are they going to help me? To reach those goals, or are they going to make it instead of taking seven, eight years, take thirteen years because they want to go out and like fuck this shit up? It's something to think about. I don't want to make you depressed. It's not a depressing video. It's not a sad video. I'm just telling you, wow, bro. When I started thinking about this, it fucking hit me. Like, there's no. I I need to go harder now. I've gone hard, 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 go to 100 out of 100. I need to go 1,000 out of 100 and push forward even more. And it's crazy to think about. But I'm going to do it. And I just want you to know that that's what's needed, right? We're going to basically lose our life, basically our teens and 20s, chasing these things. And we have to hope that one day it's worth it. One day it's worth it. If you like the video, like it's more people can see it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Let's be glad to see it. Should comment down below what you think of this. Because that's going to help me too. When you comment down below. Like, bro, you're overthinking. Blah, blah, blah. Or, bro, I'm 30 years old. Blah, blah, blah. Or, or I, oh, what you said, really? I started thinking about it. But I think about it like this. It's going to help. Subscribe to be part of the Make This Into Follow the Journey. 
Share this with someone who might need this. Be proud of yourself. Pat yourself on your shoulder. You know, I'm proud of you. Stay awake, not GoPro.